Big man and a big loss for the Boilermakers on defense. Here Chase Blau throws to Markel Jones out of the backfield, and he has a first down all the way across the 30. Outlets like he did there, they'll have success. Quick throw out to Rondale Moore, trying to find the edge, gets a pretty good block, but then into the crowd he goes. Blau finds a tight end, Bryson Hopkins. Bank down at the 28-yard line. Well, let's see how the Purdue offense responds. They come out throwing it and respond with a catch by Terry Wright, who broke one tackle, but he's up to the 44. Blau finds more, more in open space. Good open field tackle. Time in the open space, Crawford's able to square up, not go for the initial fake back to the outside and take more to the ground. Third down and eight at the 40. Patterson squares out of the pocket, dumps it down. Here's Edwards. And Jonathan Crawford with the tackle. And they snap it. Higdon looking at the first down and has it. You're going to get two linebackers in the same gap, and it just is wide open for Higdon. They're going the wrong gap. Higdon's in the B gap. Right on in those relationships and recruiting well for Indiana out of the South. On first down, Chris Evans breaks it back. And Evans gets to the 30-yard line. Win pretty. First down. And somehow he avoids the loss. We will see four backs out there. We saw Johnson to start the game. You mentioned McFarland is now in. He'll take the handoff. Speed and explosiveness down the sideline to about the 30-yard line, just short of that. Jason Jones that time in motion. And the hands off to Johnson right up the gut for a big gain and across the 10-yard line. It's Jonathan Crawford making the tackle. See, to be disciplined, they run the motion to get the eyes going. You can see lots of blockers coming back and forth, and he's just going to hit it right up the gut. Moved up and down the field. Have converted on a third down play. The pass is complete to Jones. Usually a great game. And Michigan State's had some share of upsets against him. Hill will keep it this time. And it's a first down here for Maryland. Pigram's first snap. They're going to ask him to throw it. How about that call? Pigram staying on his feet, getting chased. And Pigram, just like that, creating something out of nothing. You're going to see Demas come into your screen right here. A blindside shot on Jonathan Crawford. And it's a blow to the head as well. You could say shoulder to shoulder as Hillman also hits his. On one of its takeaways, here's Maryland's turn. And it's Pigram with a really nice fake. Trying to get to midfield. Jonathan Crawford meeting him at the 50. First time for Maryland. He's at the top of your screen. McFarland has the first down and avoids getting tripped up. Great up the field. Right there. Brian Fitzgerald, the safety, misses him. One in from a yard out, the Wildcat quarterback in there. He keeps it, needs a yard, that's it. Ball score looks like he got it. Making sure all this stuff, the best point, everything goes smoothly. But as long as you get him in a position where he's behind his pads, more often than not. Yeah, I know they're pleased to have him back on the field. He's certainly one of the team's better football players. Quick shot and complete. Able to get the big play that time. Demetrius Douglas, three catches last week at Nebraska, just won over his first six games. Yeah, Demetrius Douglas does a nice job of pushing up on the defender and putting his body in between the ball and the defender and using that big body to make a play. And a nice throw by Tanner Morgan. I've seen him throw it a ton with a lot of efficiency yet today. And a nice throw by Tanner Morgan. I've seen him throw it a ton with a lot of efficiency yet today. With time, over the middle, caught in stride, tumbling almost to the 10, first down, as Douglas has been a popular target on this drive. Sam put off, give a nice little stutter, and there he goes. A little bit of what's called a jerk route over the middle of the field. It's good execution. Back to Johnson, voice he hit hard. His third catch here in the first half, under a minute to go. That's their... 15th turnover. Brooks. A pretty run for a first down. He picks up 13. 
probably has a little bit more talent than him on the other side. It's okay to take those chances. On the ground of Miles Sanders. He's upended by Jonathan Crawford. But now they're coming out in the zone look. I don't know why. Sanders trying to turn the corner. Halfway to another first half where Jonathan Crawford brought him. Nick Sorley able to complete. Fryermuth has it. For the first go-to guys for Trace McSorley, this is just called the return route. Just comes in and then comes back out. A big-time play to force the turnover. There's McSorley, going to keep it, able to stay on his feet. And he's inside the 10-yard line. It's a gain of eight men compared to men who think they're all grown up. Uh, and looking for some advice on how to handle this kind of adversity. Franklin said there are very few people he can turn to who are in his kind of position. Justice lets it fly. And it's recovered by Indiana. But by Nick Scott. You're exactly right. Nick Scott comes up to play the football. He should let that go at that moment. It only went about eight yards, and then he tried to run with it. You're trying to make a play, a statement to end the game. When all you need to do is fall down with the football and take a knee to win the game. Jonathan Crawford comes up with that. Wow. Makai Sargent weaving his way back out across the 45. Out to the 47 and a run of 18 yards. Gonna go empty set here, second and goal. Receiver screen will get him down to about the seven. That's Smith Marset. Got their feet tangled, but it's to Michigan State's favor. And now the handoff, and that is the true freshman from. And Ladarius Jefferson just dropped it, and it's picked up by the Hoosiers. Jonathan Crawford, he was there. Well, this is an awful good play. You can see the safeties are coming down right away. And Man, they're gang tackling. They get the hand on the ball, punch the ball out. And you know, a bigger thing right here, I believe, is showing the maturity of this Indiana defense. Today was muggy. It was hot. They'll toss it out to Hayward. They're trying to establish those perimeter runs, but blowing that up was Jonathan Crawford coming up to make the stop. It's coming downhill right away. Watch it right here. That's good defense. Goes low, wraps him up.